Hi, I'm Nick Evans. I'm the resident director of the International Tour of Mamma Mia, and you're watching Imagine TV. A lot of people's first experience of Mamma Mia is the movie, and we, we celebrate that. It's taken the story to all corners of the world, and, and we, we know people come loving the movie already. I always say that a live performance is something that you really should treasure, and, and I think this show when it's at its best, its energy, its fun, the music, the dancing, is something that speaks directly to, to audiences. So, so I think to see it live is the real experience. So, so yeah, you don't see exactly the same story as the movie, you don't see exactly the same settings, but what you do see is actors laughing, crying, sharing their story just a few meters away from you. So, so it's a good way to see Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia is such a well-loved show that we're quite disciplined in the way we tell the story. The story is the story and it belongs to people. So, so we don't have a lot of changing or improvising. But what does happen is when you work with a new company is you trust their decisions. You know, it would be a real mistake for me to say, say the line like this, make this decision there. So what we do is a long rehearsal period where I'm working with fantastic actors like Sarah, who plays Donna, Richard, who plays Sam. And I, I, I work with them and say, look, how would you be angry? What would you do at that moment? What, what would your, your story be and certainly with a comedy in the piece the humor for instance thinking of our wonderful dynamos uh, the three comic characters I, let, I find out what they would think was funny and work with them Every number in the show has a different challenge. Some are very still and, and, and just ask the actors to tell a story and be emotional. Uh, so there's very little choreography, but we do save the best for last. So they're giving too much. We have a finale, which is just pure energy. So our wonderful cast have done uh, two, two hours of, of performing and then they have to give this high octane, energetic performance. So, so I think there's a real treat. What's great is that, that you know, when, think, when audiences think there's nothing more to get, they get this wonderfully danced, performed, Finale, so I always look forward to that. The reason the show survives 40 years after ABBA won the Eurovision Song Contest is those songs are so clever, you know? I mean, they were created with such a sense of melody, with such a sense of drama, and so 40 years later, they still feel fresh. What's interesting is seeing children come to see the show who know nothing about ABBA, and suddenly they kind of go, I like that tune, and they feel like they immediately connect with it. It's like all those great groups, like the Beatles, like the Rolling Stones, it doesn't matter where, which era it's from, they connect with it. And so I think I think that's true. And I think the other thing to say, of course, is it's been around for all of my life. So you hear it at a school disco, you hear it at a Christmas party, you hear it at a wedding celebration. And so people just know the music. It's part of our DNA. Theatre is about stories, and, and it's true of Mamma Mia as much as it's true of doing Hamlet by Shakespeare. It's about a story, it's about a story and being given as an actor or director uh, the privilege really of telling that story and finding a way to tell it. So, so really my job can be complicated, but it's also very simple. Find a great story and tell it well, and, and that's part of the joy of Mamma Mia. It is a great story and hopefully we tell it well. See